Okay so I never really come on slash x slash but I thought I would post this here and will continue to until someone maybe has an idea as to what happened. So a few years back me and a lifelong friend decided we would go camping in the Scottish Highlands, we are from Scotland. First time we have been camping with just the two of us. Drive out to the woods, our regular spot, normally we go with a group of maybe like 6 plus people, but this time just me and Chris. Set up camp, get fire going, crack open some beers etc. Me and Chris having the time of our lives chatting about old days and all this shit, smoking some weed. Starts to get dark, music pretty loud, basically shouting at each other to talk. Now this is the middle of the rural highlands in Scotland, basically zero light pollution, so when I say it's dark I mean it's pitch black other than the fire, you can maybe see 20 feet in front of you. Start to hear branches snapping, thinking nothing of it, must just be us moving around. Start hearing things moving in the dark just below the campfire. The fire and tents are at the top of a hill and after the campfire it rolls off down a hill to a river. Shout to Chris to turn the music down to see if we can hear it better. Music stops, footsteps keep going, almost like someone is down the hill moving around. This goes back and forth for a while until we finally decide something is wrong. Now me and Chris don't normally get worried about shit like this but given the situation and the fact no other person or car was in sight for at least 5-10 miles we decided that it would be best to turn the music off and get some protection. Chris disconnects aux, music completely off, aux cord is now on the dirt, so the speaker is making some weird high pitch shit. Quickly turn that shit off as it spooked us even more lmao. I stand watch and listening at the top of the hill, Chris on the way to the tent to grab some weapons, calling into the dark is anyone there. As I call it, loud shuffle and then nothing, almost like someone stopping in the leaves. Chris comes back with a shitty blunt axe and a cooking knife. Grab the knife, Chris has the axe. Chris being the stupid fuck he is decides he is going to go down the hill and see what it is. Convince him not to go. Tell him we need to get to the tent, get the car key and get back to the car and see if we can shine the lights into the trees, we only had shitty head torches, not very strong. Start making our way back to the car as slowly as we could. The fucking second we take a step away from camp, footsteps begin to get louder, branches snapping and shit coming from just below the bank the camp hill starts at. At this point we are jogging back to the car. Get back to the car, start that shit, try to do my best to turn on to a shitty UK country road, drunk. Try to shine lights on to camp, can't see over the hill where the noises were coming from but can see our tent and fire. Somehow our fire has almost completely gone out, I don't know how, this thing was massive, stocked with wooden pallets and oil soaked wood. When I say gone out I mean it's almost full out. As soon as both of us see this, we decide it's best to drive off and come back when it's light. Start driving down country road, there is a power station about 5 miles down the road with lights, still in the middle of nowhere but it has lights that we can sleep under. Pull up at power station, both of us worried but grab the shitty emergency blankets and try going to sleep. As I reach back into the back seat for a pillow, I see out the rear window this light at the top of the road in the distance, maybe a mile or so away in the trees. Me thinking it's just a reflection from the power station lights I ignore it. I notice it in the driver's side mirror this time, getting closer, almost yellow, white light, it's turning on and off, moving at slow walking speed. Tell Chris. Chris takes a look. Notices how there is a figure almost holding the light, fully black, yet has some resemblance to a human. Decide to get out and call on it to see if it's a person. Get out shout hello a few times. No fucking response, just the stupid light standing there, turning on and off maybe every 4 seconds, the figure is jet black. Never seen anything like it in my life almost unbelievable black like there was light coming off the power station, 
but this thing was so dark that nothing was reflecting it. Light getting closer. Keeps turning on and off. Gets about a quarter mile away and we decide to get the fuck out and drive to the nearest town for the night. Get to the nearest town. Park up at the public overnight stay car park and try to get some sleep, decide we will go back to the camp in the morning to collect our shit and see if we can figure out what it was. Morning comes, worst sleep of my entire life. Coffee, wash, start driving back up to camp. Get to camp and see some really, really weird shit. My tent has been opened, I don't know why or how. There was nothing in my tent other than my sleeping bag, everything was contained in Chris's tent. There is some sort of cut slash rip on the front door mesh, almost like someone brute forced the door open, there was no need to do this as zips were open with no padlock. All the wood from the fire was neatly stacked in a pile resembling a cube, this was not us, we brought the wood in plastic rubble sacks. Somehow some of the grass below the hill and fire was burned, this is where we heard the footsteps come from, this was also live grass so how it burned I'll never know. Everything in camp has been moved in some way shape or form but not destructively, almost like it has been rearranged. Pack our shit up and get the fuck out of there. Now to this day I have been back there camping with a larger group, I never go with any less than 4 people after this happened. I have seen some other weird shit happen up there but nothing like this. I can't say I think about paranormal stuff much but this is the one event that will always leave me confused. Every time I am back up there camping, I get this weird fucking feeling in my gut like something bad is about to happen. Anyway, that is my shitty story, first and hopefully last.